Hello everybody, my name is Dave. Welcome to your ninth CakePHP 3.x tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see how to bake this file. We'll simply plug in CakePHP to this and CakePHP will build those files for us, the rest of the sites with these pages. So we'll plug it to a database, it builds this. To do that, we need to get to command line in CakePHP console. So we get to blog, click on bin and start up this file. I will double click to start. Alright, this is what just happened. It happens in uh, several systems when you double click this file. It shows up and disappears. I'll show you a simple hack for it. There are several hacks for it, but this is a uh, quite simple way. Alright, let's just see. Alright, the first quick hack is to visit git dash scm.com and um, slash download slash win and download git for windows i'm using 64 bits so i'll download this if you can uh, remember this or maybe the url changed uh, in the future you could just google um, download git for windows you google this download git for windows it brings you to uh, this page then you download for your operating system all right so when you download git you get back to this point and install git using the default setup options after installing uh, your github you get back to your php site right click on this and use git bash make sure that um, make sure that git bash is enabled um, during your installation so i'm going to click on git bash to open this file with git bash and then bam it opens and it stays so that's one trick to keep that window open the next trick is to use composer you get to um, your you visit getcomposer.org and click on download otherwise you go go download composer all right so when you visit the page there are other funny ways to download composer but the one we are looking for is the one we just click here click once download composer install it and then when you get back to your file you open with composer use composer open with composer here all right so you either open with git or with composer but i will be using git so to test that your cake is working properly you just type cake or cake server right mine is working properly and i didn't have any errors uh, if yours is another thing you can do is just type here of course see uh it's working properly there are no errors so but if you have an error like the like dot something something wrong at line whatever whatever it means that it's not seeing your your system is not seeing your kick your your php installation your php installation um root is not in your environment path so i'll just quickly show you how to fix it so the first step is to quickly add php root uh, php path to your environment variable to do that you just go back back to your wamp folder all right i'm here in wamp and then click on bin and then you see your installations click on um oh, oh don't mind this i was just pulling around click on php yours might have several php versions but um if there's only one just choose the one with the highest option not the one you're currently using open it this is the file the folder we wanted this is what your system is looking for but what we just do is copy this part here i'll just click on on these ones and copy this right click copy then go to your your system your start menu in your system click on it once type environment environment and the wait what you see is a uh, environment variables for for your account or for your system i click on that of system well, it's kind of difficult 
to know which one will work whether it's for your account or for your system so you try it for one if one doesn't work you try it for the, the other so i click on environment variables this page opens i click on this and um this one opens this dialog you look for path what you're looking for is path so in path i'll click on edit and then um, be sure not to delete anything you'll see uh, a lot of stuff written here just be sure not to delete it so get to the extreme type a semicolon and paste the shortcut to your paste the, the path to your php that's it um, no space of course so this is it and you click ok and um, it fixes your problem another thing you could do is to make sure you use the environment uh, path environment path for your for my account i'm choosing the other option right now you will notice that we have path here i can click on edit and uh, the same thing you just paste your php path so if you had that error uh, you will just quickly add php to your account to your environment path and another quick way to fix it is get to google type this you will see um i solved this problem on on uh, brain term so the first result you probably get is your this you click on it and then um, it opens brain temple page where i solved the problem a while ago um, that was in 2014 uh, a long time ago okay and um, there are several ways to solve the problem one cool way to do that is to tell kick instead of telling your system where php is installed you tell kick where php is, is installed which means essentially you edit this file you edit your kick uh, file and tell kick php where your you right click and um, edit with notepad or whatever you have and um, right here at the bottom you tell php uh, kick where php is installed on your system but the first one of adding it to your environment path is best because for subsequent kick php sites you wouldn't have any problem again all right so that pretty sums it up for for setting up kick php in the next tutorial we'll see how we can bake and uh, print our files. Thank you very much.